I always liked the uh, invention fair, you know, where you had to come up with an idea um, of something you would invent as opposed to just sort of the doldrums of science fairs. I invented something called the no squeeze seat, which is uh, a seat that you can put into a bleacher um, without being squished by the people next to you or the people behind you. And so I thought it would be a good idea to make that because a couple weeks ago I went to a football game and these strange big adults were squeezing me and I didn't know what to do and I just stared at the football field the whole time and it was really awkward. So I thought a lot of people probably felt like that. So it could be something that helps a lot of people. My first invention fair, uh, I created with a group in third grade, uh, a broom that bent and went under furniture for us to, to, to clean under furniture. And then the one I did individually later on was a shoe buffer, like an automatic shoe buffer. So um, let's see, I don't know. Invention fair was always one of the most fun things we did every year. I know I always looked forward to it. And especially because I've continued trying to invent things going forward. That was really a fun experience and something that I don't think you get at a lot of schools. So. You know, for example, when um, I got, had the opportunity to help out with the um, invention fair this year, and so I got to see how kids approached problems and problem solving sort of firsthand there. And so it really um, highlighted how um, kids would bring all the different things they've learned from the different subject areas to bear upon upon a problem. And so you know, we had kids, um, you know, sort of figuring out quantitatively what to do, kids writing up um, sort of very inventive and, and um, wonderful summaries of what they were doing. And then um, at the end, we did a, a commercial of the, of the invention that they invented, the product that they invented. And uh, what struck me most was how sort of self-assured and natural the kids were speaking on camera. And I realized that all comes from you know, sort of all the details that are worked on throughout the uh, entire countryside experience.